The process begins with the teacher sharing the assignment with their students. In this example, we will explore a junior cycle business studies assignment using the classwork section of Google Classroom. The teacher should share the learning intention and success criteria with their students along with the assignment. In this way, students will have a clear understanding of what they are learning and how they can achieve success. When sharing an attachment from Google Drive, we strongly recommend that you share it in such a way that each student receives their own copy. This turns the attachment into a template, which the student can complete like an electronic worksheet, and this simplifies the correction and feedback process. Switching to the student view, here we can see how the assigned work looks from the student's perspective. As the learning intentions and success criteria have been shared by the teacher, the student clearly understands what is expected of them and knows how to complete the assignment to a high standard. The student then opens the template for the assignment and will produce a draft of their work following the success criteria shared by the teacher. When the draft is complete, the student can turn this in. When the draft has been turned in, it can be accessed and commented on by the teacher and possibly the student's peers, depending on the sharing settings chosen by the student. Switching back to the teacher view, we can see the assignments which have been turned in by students. Click on the name of a student to view their work. Teachers can provide iterative, personalised and actionable feedback while students are working on their assignments. Feedback can be provided in a few ways. Comments can be added to the student's work, either by typing them in or by using the comment bank. The comment bank can be accessed by clicking on the icon on the right hand side of the screen. You can copy a comment and then add it in the usual way. Pasting or by typing and using the predictive feature. Alternatively, it may be quicker for the teacher to provide oral feedback to students using extensions such as Screencastify Screencast-O-Matic or Talk and Comment. Check out our YouTube channel for short tutorials on how each of these work. Go to youtube.com and search for PDST Digital Technologies. Don't forget to subscribe. There is a specific playlist for digital tools to support assessment and feedback. Once the teacher has completed the feedback, they will return the work to the student. When the teacher has returned the work to the student, the student may, following feedback from their teacher and or their peers, realise that they need to improve their work based on their own self-assessment and the feedback that they have received. They may either restart the cycle, go back to the drawing board and come up with a new piece of work or redraft the existing piece based on the feedback they have received. An improved or finished piece of work can then be uploaded to their showcase portfolio, which will be discussed in the next section, or alternatively, additional feedback can be sought and used to improve the work further. Assignment submissions can be resubmitted and continuously improved, even after the teacher leaves feedback. Feedback can be provided at any stage in the learning process, and this supports the development of the student. Continual feedback to students on how to progress learning and performance is essential. Feedback must be during the process and not just at the product stage.